Welcome back guys, we got Daisy Cup. We're gonna start our Mario Circuit 3R. Let's go. So, Christmas time is settling in for me. It's like, it finally, it's finally starting to sink in that Christmas is coming and it's Christmas time. I'll tell you why. It's not because we have a Christmas tree up already. It's not because I see Christmas lights and all the commercials and all the songs are coming on now nope that's not what it's doing it <laughs> what's doing it is my bank account <laughs> oh, Christmas time is always a big hit my wife is a giver and I love her for that and I wish I can be like that but when you make less than the qualifications to be able to live comfortably in California it is not easy and sometimes not even fun to go out and buy Christmas presents when you can barely afford it I love the idea of giving right give within your budget though it's always it always is kind of a weird concept too though because you know people who are wealthier they buy uh more expensive things during this time of the season and but but like for example you know you're 17, you just got your first job, and you're working at fast food or making minimum wage, versus your parents who have a double paycheck probably, and are making enough to provide your living circumstances and a house and two cars. This is the ideal American dream situation that your parents are in, right? They can afford to give Christmas presents to you. You're 17, you're like, Mom, I want the new Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out. All right, that's what I want for Christmas. They go out, they drop 60 bucks, depending on your parent situation, maybe they drop 120 bucks for both Sword and Shield for you. And if for Christmas in exchange with your minimum wage, you give them you give your your mom gets a twenty dollar gift card to Target, and your dad gets a hat from the thrift store. It's not a really a fair exchange, but that's not what Christmas is about. I feel like Christmas should be about giving unto what you can give. Uh, so if you can't give. PS4, but you can give a controller. Wait, no, the controllers are like just as expensive these days. You can't give a PS4, but you can give a $20 PlayStation online shop Fortnite skin. I don't know. Then give that, you know? And it's not even it's not even about like flexing or showing off, you know. Sorry, I was concentrating there. All right, but it's just it's just a hard it's just a hard time if you can't give how you want to give. Obviously, are anyone's ideal circumstance, any decent person's ideal circumstances to be able to make enough give the best gifts on Christmas. I would love to get my mom uh, whatever her heart's desire. I don't know what she wants, to be honest, because quite frankly, I probably can't afford whatever she wants. <laughs> uh, I would love to give my wife uh, new car 
for Christmas. So we don't have to share our Toyota Prius C 2015. That is uh, big enough to fit two people who are over 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Unless you have a family full of people who are 5'4 and below, do not get a Prius C if you want a family car. <laughs> it works for our situation though. It's also hard, you know, when you see all these cool things that you can, you're buying for your friends and family and you're like, well, you know, I still want Pokemon Sword and Shield, but <laughs> my sister just got married, so I got a brother-in-law to give a Christmas present to. <laughs> and I, okay, don't take that as complaining. I, I would rather give to those I love and receive a new video game. You need to, I don't know, what I'm getting at is you just need to understand where you are, right? Don't go overboard if you can't afford it. Don't worry about the pressures that others are going to put on you for giving cheap gifts. If you can, if if they know like, you're working at Google and you're going to the dollar store to buy some gifts, then that's that's a that's a scummy move. You can afford to give better. You get better, but you know, I'm I have friends and family who are aware of my uh, financial situation, so. I know that if I were to go and buy some $20 gifts, you know, you're gonna bash on me because I didn't give you a $120 gift, even though you know $120 is like a big chunk of my monthly income. So I know my limits, you should know yours. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Sorry for bad commentary. A little tired. Hopefully the next one will be better. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment. And subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.